when there's a vacuum in power, strange things happen. So I'm not really very surprised, though I am greatly dismayed, to see a story about a protest, a reasonable protest by people outside the consulate in Manchester, outside the Chinese consulate in Manchester, um, protesting about the situation in Hong Kong and that one of their number was dragged by concert officials in some form into the compound and allegedly beaten up. It's outrageous and of course the police and British officials cannot enter consulate grounds without um, permission. That's unlikely to be granted. Uh, of course this is nothing like the abhorrent behaviour in Istanbul when Mr Khashoggi was assassinated, but it is an abuse of our hospitality and it is an abuse of the uh, consulate system and of the whole system of diplomacy. Will an apology be immediately forthcoming? I imagine it will be. But this is one of many events that I think will be triggered by the vacuum that is perceived to be in power in 10 Downing Street, and this is why Liz Truss needs to move on fast. She is endangering this country. She is putting our reputation at risk, and uh, she's uh, bas basically saying that, um, uh, that we are in limbo, and we will remain in limbo as long as she is at the helm. She needs to go. She needs to, uh, she needs to be part of the solution. Her absence needs to be effective and needs to be thorough. At the moment, she is absent <laughs> physically. Uh, where she's hiding, God alone knows. It's probably not in a fridge. That, that, that trick's already been tried. Um, but she's probably, she's probably hiding somewhere in number 10 or probably still in checkers. Who knows? I would say who cares, but I do care. Because while she is not at the helm, and while she is demonstrably um, useless, this problem in Manchester will be one, one of the first of many. I'm sorry to say.